They're coming for me. They're coming for me. It's Taylor. I'm coming to you live from a mountain. You wanna see the process I went through to get here? Cue intro, and then um, I'll show you. Yeah, yeah, hey! Y'all, if you haven't been here before, welcome. Thanks for joining me. I'm returning, uh, I don't, I don't know. You fucking know. Y'all, I keep hearing people tell me. You gotta choose a YouTube theme. You gotta choose blah 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 blah. How is it possible? Oh, and I'm going the wrong way. Okay, let me think. Okay, I'm back. How is it possible to choose one YouTube theme when you got hundreds of ideas? Let me know. What do people want to see? I'm like, okay, I'm in LA. Let me do some LA things. All right. Let me go hike to the Hollywood sign for five miles just to get a YouTube thumbnail. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do today. I don't know what's next from this. I got a lot of ideas and I don't know where to put them. I don't know what to do with them. If you agree, comment down below. Let me know what you're doing. I don't, I ain't got no knowledge for y'all. If you just want to watch me go around LA, eat some food, travel, I don't know. Okay, I don't know where I'm going. I need my directions. Ooh, I'm going left on Tyrone. Okay, Tyrone, <laughs> hit me up. I don't know what to talk about. I don't know what to do. YouTube is hard, life's hard. To be honest, when I get there, I don't even know if I'm gonna go on the hike because it's low-key kind of long, but I am prepared if necessary. If it be necessary for me to go on the hike, I got my utensils, I've got my sunblock on, got my sunblock on my arms, my face, got my water bottle. Oh God, heart attack. We'll see where we end up. Cause we're in LA, we can do whatever we want. Woo! I'm at the Hollywood sign hike. I don't even want to do it anymore, but I'm going to get out of my car and I'm going to see how far I get for you guys, for the tube, because that's, that's, um, that's where I'm at right now. I'll be back. I'm just going to say that it's been 10 minutes and I immediately regret my decision. I don't know how far I'm going to make it, but stay tuned. All right. Lord Jesus, somebody help me. Oh, I'm over it. I don't want to do it anymore. I don't want to do it. Oh. just hiked an hour um, for a picture basically because I didn't really want to work out but I'm here anyway so this is it this is it this is the greatest thing in the world right here um, yep that's it just that and now I have to walk an hour to go back down great just great Asha what you mean rattlesnakes oh nope not today 5 p.m. It is a Monday. How did I get here? Why did I end up here? Ah! <laughs> okay, people are watching me. I'm nervous. Look at me. Oh, Lord Jesus, get me out of here. Oh, my God. I 
finished my hike. I did five miles. And then I was like, you know what, let me treat myself. At my number two favorite taco spot. It looks a little different right now because of COVID and everything going on. So I don't exactly know if it's the same thing. Normally it's like a stand, but now it's a truck. So we'll see what it's, we'll see what's popping. You know, we'll see if it's the same thing. So let me, let me, let me take you guys. Let me show you guys. Oh my, I already took a bite of the potato. Oh, I already sanitized my hands, but let me just um, do it again so you guys can see. These are my number two favorite tacos in LA, Avenue 26 in downtown LA, but they have the best horchata. Oh, oh my God. How could something be so delectable? Let me just show you guys these tacos because I can't get over them. I'm gonna do a food tour. That's what I'm gonna do. Mm. Mm. <sighs> food is the love of my life has been always will be these are good don't get me wrong these are good but my number one spot is this stand in santa monica off of lincoln boulevard i've tried a lot of tacos in la i have been to more taco stands than probably anyone i know and the ta the pastor tacos in santa monica at this location they will literally change your life. Like, oh my God. I haven't had pork in a minute. He's about to mess me up. It was a seasoned onion. You got seasoned onions. If you got other taco spot recommendations in LA, let me know. All I need is a plate of $5 tacos and I am set for life. That's it. I love you. Try your taco. Mmm. This is what I have to say. Start a YouTube. If you don't start one now, you're gonna wish you started one a year later. I graduated a year ago. I wish I had started a YouTube when I graduated because my life has been so funny the past year. And it would've been so funny to document that stuff. Even if you don't have anything great now, you don't have anything to say for the YouTube, just start posting stuff. Cause eventually you will. Eventually you're gonna come up with stuff and eventually you're gonna be popping. And that's what I'm manifesting. Is YouTube my, um, everything my heart desired? No, but it's getting me through life right now because COVID and I don't have anything else to do. Social distancing. Social distancing with my friends, you guys. Oh, I swear every time people look at me when I'm doing this, I'll get an idiot. Okay. Uh -huh. I love, I love a good potato. Woo! I'm just gonna enjoy these tacos for a second. I just start recording and I'm like, I'm gonna make this in a video. And then halfway through, I'm like, okay, well, I don't know what that video is doing. Let me just go ahead and post it anyways. And then I'll never go back and look at it because um, I'm, I'm embarrassed, but. Mm. Mm. So my theory is YouTube likes authentic people. Be yourself, but be yourself in front of a camera and maybe people will like you. If not, well, choose a different career. Or just stick at YouTube your whole life. Eventually, you'll be popping. Whatever. You guys have a great day, life, night, time. I'm going to enjoy this last taco. And I'll see you guys when I got a new idea. Ready for this? Mm -hmm. Ms. Ugh. Okay. I got to go. I got to go. Be happy by myself. Um, goodbye. Goodbye.